Is it possible to make your own Deessa? Deessa software producers rarely give this kind of thing away for free, and it's not really the kind of thing that's included in digital audio workstations. So you've got to pay, right? Well, I was thinking about Deessing software the other day, and I had a kind of brainwave, and I believe it is possible to make your own one with just an EQ plugin. Let me show you. If you find this video interesting and helpful, I have a subscribe button and that helps me out. If you want to support this channel further, I also have a Patreon where any funds from Patreon I put back into the channel, I buy gear, review it and give it away to my backers. It's a cyclical thing and it really works. Details below. So what do you need? Well, just a digital audio workstation, which has a linear phase EQ and a set of human ears. Think of this as just a fun experiment for your entertainment. Let me show you the technique. So I'm in my digital audio workstation and ignore the other tracks for now. I've got this recorded audio, which sounds like this. This is a test to see if it's possible to recreate a de with nothing but a simple EQ. Step one is to duplicate our clip and place it on the track below, and it must be absolutely perfectly aligned. Now, on our second track, I want to flip the phase, and I'm doing that with the basic gain plugin in Logic. This means if a sound wave is going up, it will now be going down. If it's going down, it will now be going up. It's the polar opposite, if you like. The next step is to open up a linear phase EQ, which sounds fancy, but it's actually quite a basic plugin. And you can see here, I've dipped the volume of everything except for 6K and around that area. And I've gone with 6K, by the way, because 6K I've identified as quite an S heavy frequency for my voice. The second track is now just the S's and it sounds like this. Yeah, you get the point. Next, we want to bounce these two in place, which will essentially combine the two clips and bake in the effect that we've added with our second track. And so again, here's our original track. This is a test to see if it's possible to recreate a de with nothing but a simple EQ. And when we check the volume of the 6K frequency, we can see it's at minus 30.8 dB. And then this is what our process track sounds like. This is a test to see if it's possible to recreate a de with nothing but a simple EQ. And we can hear that it's been working. Admittedly, it's a little bit lispy, which means it's dialed in a little too strong. And when we look at the frequency analyzer, we can see 6K is down at minus 43-ish decibels. So it's dropped by a good 12 dB on average. Of course, the way to change the strength of this is if you want less of that de effect, you just reduce the volume of your second track. Here it is dialed in a little more subtly. This is a test to see if it's possible to recreate a de with nothing but a simple EQ. And we're getting around minus 37 dB. So it's an average of six to seven dB of gain reduction on that 6K area. And you can definitely hear that it's working. This is actually probably still too extreme for me. That's it. And the reason this kind of works is phase cancellation. Two equal but opposite sound waves cancel each other out. So by isolating the frequency on your duplicated track, this dynamically reduces the volume of said frequency. If that frequency gets particularly loud on your main vocal track, then of course your duplicate track will react. But does it actually work? Sort of? Not really? Kind of? Is it perfect? Obviously not. Will you get phase issues? Well, yes, but that is how EQs work. I will say if you try this, you have to be using a linear phase EQ, uh, and I've tried it with a regular one and it wasn't pretty to listen to. The bad thing about this is, of course, you don't really know how much gain you're reducing from that frequency. Uh, the good thing is, if you're gonna try it, you have to use your ears to listen to dial in the perfect amount. It's obviously not as good as a proper de and a few people are gonna be screaming at me, TDR Nova, it's free, <laughs> and yes. But it was a pretty cool and interesting experiment to try. I thought it was interesting anyway, but then I am a freaking nerd. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting and helpful. Are you gonna try this? What did you think? I'm hoping the 
proper audio nerds in the audience are going to pick this apart. But do remember, it was just for fun and to see if it could be done. I've now made hundreds of videos about this kind of thing, plus the videography side of things, and I've put a couple of recommendations for net your next watch just here. And until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys.